sweet potato. It's a fantastic carrier of flavour. So I'm going to make a sweet potato soup and really make it special by adding some red curry paste to it. So I'm also going to add to these two cloves of garlic. I'm not even going to peel them. We're just going to place them straight onto the tray along with two carrots. Now we want roughly everything to be the same size. So we're going to cut the carrots straight down the centre. We need two carrots for this. And we're going to cut them into about three to four centimetre pieces. Okay. The carrots are going to cook in the same time as the sweet potato, so that's why I've chosen it. And I just love the extra sweetness from the carrot. So we just want to put that in one layer along with one onion. And we're just going to, again, chop that up into the same size as all our other ingredients. Now, I've preheated the oven. I want it to be quite hot, so it's at 220 degrees. I want to get some colour on this, again, to really show off the flavour of each individual veggie. A little splash of olive oil, of course, and just a small amount of salt. I'm going to season later on too. Done. Right, the vegetables have been roasted. I've let them cool slightly. All these little garlic cloves, this is when you can take the skin off. We've really concentrated the flavour by leaving the skins on. And look, as soon as you squeeze that, all that delicious garlic comes out. So remove the skins. And there's one there. That one just fell straight out. And before we add this to the pot, we need to fry off our red curry paste. Now, my red curry paste has all the essentials that you need in a really good red curry paste. So lots of red chilies, galangal, spices, garlic there too. And we want to toast it off because it is raw. So we want to toast that off to really bring out all the flavours before we add the other ingredients. A good tablespoon. Place that in and we're going to fry that off. So you want it to start splitting in the actual oil before you move on to the next day. So we'll just break that up and start frying it off. And once it starts to really become aromatic and start to split as it is now, we can add our veggies. So we'll just scoop them in. And if you wanted to cut out this stage of roasting the vegetables, of course you can, and it will still be a delicious soup. But what this does is make it extra sweet. This is exactly how they make the soups when you go to a restaurant. Just giving it a little extra love. Last bit goes in. And we'll coat all the vegetables in that red curry paste. It smells so good. This is when I'll add a little extra salt. Not too much because I'm also going to season this with a little fish sauce. So just a splash of fish sauce. It'll give it the saltiness, but an extra savouriness too. A wonderful base for the soup. Now we'll cover this with some water. So about a litre or so of water. And to give this a lovely creamy dimension, some coconut cream. Now I like to reserve some of the coconut cream just for the topping later on. So we'll pour that in. Just leave a couple of tablespoons. Mix that in and then this just needs to come up to the boil, turn it down to a simmer and cook it for about 10 minutes. Everything in there is pretty much cooked. We just want all those flavours to marry. Alright, that soup is cooked and I'm just using a stick blender to blend it all together. Look how smooth and lush that looks. Now you can see it makes a big batch and that's exactly how I like to make my soups because this soup in particular freezes so well. So serve up as much as you like, the rest of it portion out and have it just for that rainy day where you want just a really quick dinner or lunch, soup is ready to go. So a few ladlefuls into a bowl and to finish it off, some lime, just a squeeze of lime just at the end. Just a few drops to give it some zing. I've got these crispy fried noodles. We'll place that in the middle. That really makes it a meal in itself. And don't forget that reserved coconut cream. This is used just to garnish on the top. You can see it just sort of sit on the top there, make it look extra special. And if you have some coriander, a little sprig of coriander at the top. I love the flavour with that red curry paste. 
That right there is a very simple soup made with sweet potato, but it's just taken to that next level by adding that red curry paste.